I'm very like Oh my god Oh my god Welcome to RDT 1 to 1 Real driving tutorials 1 to 1 Today's tutorial is about a mock test that was held at one of Sydney's testing centers we will show you in this tutorial how the examiner gives instruction during the test. We will also highlight all of the learner's good and bad performances during the test. As a result, you will have a very clear imagination of what the test looks like. We will publish the result at the end of the test and explain if any mistakes were made. So, let's get this started, buckle up, and get ready. If you find our tutorial helpful, please subscribe, like, and share it. With just a few clicks, you can save our channel and help us to grow. Hi, my name is Aileen. I'm 39 years old. I'm here in Australia for about five years and so on. I had my driving test at Liverpool but I failed the test. My driving test was tomorrow here at Marrickville and this is my mock test, my second mock test at RDT 1 to 1. Wish me luck! <laughs> okay, Maiden, how do you feel now? How do you feel today? I feel nervous, <laughs> excited. <laughs> Okay, that's good. Good to hear. So, you ready to start the test? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, uh, similar like before that we have done last day. Um, yeah. We go for a short ride. That is mm -hmm. around forty minutes. If I don't tell you anything, then you have to keep going straight. If you need to go left or left or right, I'll let you know. Okay. Okay. The, during the uh, during the test, we'll be doing um, uh, curves parking and uh, three point turn. I'm oh, sorry, mm -hmm. reverse park. Today we'll be doing reverse park. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you don't understand any of the uh, direction, you can just ask me. Okay. Okay. Before the, you start the test, any question? Nothing. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. So, when you're ready, just start and uh, pull up from here. Can you have me Yeah, I have. Thank you. Thanks for taking me on. So during the test, I'll be also telling you what it thinks you're doing good and what things you're doing bad. Okay? okay, just to let you know on this part so that you know what to do. Okay, okay. it will be it will give you a head up for tomorrow for your uh, real test. Okay. I'll be also noting down um, the the things that I, I think that to be noted, and at the test at the end of the test, I will explain. Okay. Aylin is a lovely lady and a good driver. She holds a driver's license from the Philippines. She is converting her overseas driver's license to a full NSW driver's license. She had previously attempted but failed a driving test in Liverpool. Prior to today's mock test, she took one mock test with us at RDT 121. She has excellent driving skills, but she drives with anxiety. When it comes to the driving test, most students experience driving anxiety. However, just thinking about the test won't benefit you in any way. Instead, we should aim for safe driving at all times. Then pass will come on its own. Her second mock test is today. Sharif is a licensed IMS instructor with approximately 13 years of full-time driving instruction experience. During that period, he has accumulated over 20,000 hours of on-road one-to-one teaching experience. He has instructed over three and a half thousand individuals from many different nationalities and age groups. His teaching style is excellent, easy to follow and understandable. His mock test assessment result is just about as accurate as the driving exam at service NSW centers. He is a very dedicated and passionate instructor. Let's follow Aylin today to see how she drives and how Sharif marks her.
continue following this road. At the end of the street, you'll be turning left. Plenty gap on the left hand side, you could actually stop more close to the left. So next traffic light left hand. I'll let you know where it is okay so just next left after this parkers left here straight to the end at the end of the street you'll be turning right Street, you'll be turning left. Just continue straight. It is a good communication with the bus driver. Good. Next traffic light will be turning right. Be 
good that you have put it off. It was really twirly. If you don't put it off, I would mark it down.
you didn't you didn't you didn't have to really do this indicator head check because it's, it's still one lane and you've been keeping on the right lane now you need to slow down and you see the white car on the left just stop next to the white car and do a reverse by behind this one, this one. yes yeah. Let me know when I finished your parking. So when you're ready, um, you can pull out and continue straight. But just looking at this parking, it's actually way too far from the gutter on the left. Mm -hmm. The tire has to be close to the gutter mm -hmm. or over the gutter. But this one is far from the gutter. It's, ab it's about as wide as like the gutter, almost, almost. So it's uh, more than 500 mm, 500 millimeter out of the uh, out of the car. So. For the test it will be a fail.
then we'll be running next right coming up soon So here if you really really want to do a head check do the head check properly not just turning your head and look through the windows look uh, or the mirror look to the second windows okay second window is actually your blind spot Aylan has shaken her head here to check both sides of the intersection as she is the first car to go through this traffic light but in reality she has only looked enough to her right only and not sufficient depth to her left side Sharif however has ignored this as she has to have a complete vision to her left now to turn to the left. If she were going straight, she would be marked down for her incorrect head check here.
you have to really do the head check here because you already crossed the center so we don't expect anybody to come from the right hand side if they would be coming they would be coming from wrong side, wrong side. and this really unexpected and if you really want to check you can check this rear mirror for them It wasn't safe at all. Look at your final stopping position over the line. Mm. If you just cross the first line, you can you could go through. Now you're crossing maybe even third line. So you're touching the third line, and we completely blocking the pressure across here. Hasn't been safe at all. And the way you have stopped so suddenly, if there is a car behind and couldn't stop safely, it would hit behind you. When you approach to the traffic light, if you feel like you are going to touch the first stopping line, just go through. Also shaken, her head here to check both sides of the intersection before going through. But she did it very quickly and did not turn her head enough to the right side. If you notice closely, she is basically looking to her right just by rolling her eyes to the right. At the test, the examiner will not be satisfied if you do your head check just by moving your eyes to the sides, as it is hard for the examiner to make sure whether if you have done this check, and moreover, just rolling the eyes to the sides doesn't cover the area which you could cover by turning your head to the sides of checking.
this one you could actually stop but i let you go without marking down uh, as a benefit of doubt been a good response to the cyclist appreciate it can you go right at this to feel it give you way to go through it's also better to communicate with the guy by showing the hand in that way he feels comfortable and it's a confirmation that you're going otherwise then can be a misunderstanding so if you didn't go or you didn't show hand the guy the guy may just start coming at the end of the street left Everybody is giving away to you. Next 
continue straight ahead, sorry. Straight? Yep. Okay, and back to the center now. So you see where the car is coming out? Just turn left in, into the ramray. Just park anywhere on the mm -hmm. right. So yeah, tell me, what do you feel about the test? I feel still nervous, <laughs> especially when I do the um, respect the reverse because I didn't expect that that I will be far too from, much away from yeah too much far from the curb. Okay. And um. Mm -hmm. Anything else you want to say? Nervous. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, that's what it looks like actually. Uh, looking at driving, uh, most of driving, uh, most of the things in your driving, you're doing actually good, very good. I should appreciate it. Like the way you responded to the. Oh, yeah. okay. So most of the thing you doing in the driving is okay. Like um, the way you responded to the hazards and the way you're doing the head checks is good actually and uh, the way you're maintaining your road position most of the things are all good um, just a few issues uh, and of course the traffic light and the uh, reverse pack mm. so f in the first thing you messed up at the reverse pack so as you said like you you stopped too far from the mm -hmm. from the curb side so that instantly fail um, that's a fail item. Um, not an instant fail, but it's a fail item, yes. Uh, anything from this 19 fail item is marked, then it's a fail. Doesn't matter what is your score, final score. Okay. Uh, so it's, it is F17, not parking to the required standard. Mm -hmm. Because the car, the final position of the car was more than 500 millimeter, millimeter from the curb side. Okay. So if you are close to the gutter, the, the concrete mm -hmm. line next to the curb side is mm -hmm. fine. If you're not over it, but it's close, it's fine, but it's far. So that is your first fail item. Um, you could take four chances, and you have taken four chances of uh, doing the maneuver. So you reversed, you moved. Can I do that? Hit. Can I do that? Um, like, for example, I'm not yet finished. Mm -hmm. So what I can do like the uh, go back and then go in again until I'm finished. You did so. You did four times. I know. You already did four times. So it's not allowed. Four times, up to four times is allowed. Okay. Not more than four. So you already have finished your four chances. So you reversed, you moved ahead, you reversed and moved ahead. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. So even after four uh, movement, you couldn't finish your parking properly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So if you, you if you would keep going, um, the do, doing the more movement, it would mm -hmm. be fail anyway. And otherwise, it's too far, it's, it's also fail. So either way, it could be failed. So that's the position you're there. And mm -hmm. during the rear spark, as you have moved out, mm -hmm. um, you need to do the head check on the right hand side. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm. if we moved out and also i think i did um, but not you, really abuse maybe after the move oh okay you did the check after the move okay oh. first time you haven't done like first time when you stop you mm -hmm. reverse is straight mm -hmm. and you didn't look to the right Mm -hmm. And I thought maybe you're making a mistake, but later I saw like you just reverse the street and after tiny the streak you check right and to the back. It was okay. So first time it was okay, but at the second check on the right. You should have checked on the right and also to the back before reversing. You missed both checks that time during the reverse part. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. So if you notice carefully, Aylin has done a head check on her right but it was after she started rolling back. When it comes about the head check, it is very sensitive. For head check, the direction and time of head check both have to be correct. In this case, her checking to the right is fine, but as she started rolling back first and then did the check, this check may not be counted as correct. Moreover, she was supposed to check through the rear windscreen before reversing, but she has completely ignored this check. So, what Sharif marked down here is correct. Technically, she has missed two head checks here. One of the time you changed lane uh, to go on the left lane to turn left and there's a park card. So you have turned your head towards this uh, side window or towards the mirror, but you haven't checked to the back. So when you do the head check, make sure you do up to that point. You but, yes, exactly. But uh, considering that it was a park car and you changed lane in front of the park car, uh, even you made a mistake about the head check, that head check is not actually counted. Like if you really uh, change lane in front of the park car hmm. and you can make sure it's the park car, then that head check is not counted. But it's recommended that you do the head check. Okay? You do the head check properly. So when you pass in the car, if you look through this window and make sure there is no driver on the car to drive out the car, then your head check is done. And if you have already passed the car, then you should do the head check through your second window on the left hand side to make mm -hmm. sure the car has not started pulling out. Yeah. Okay. okay. Traffic light. So another big mistake there. Mm. Mm. So if you see the light has yeah, already changed. And if you cannot stop yeah. safely before the first stopping light, you go through. Which you have done the second one. Yeah. Second one, actually, you could stop the moment it became yellow. If you wanted to stop, you could stop. But you decided to go through. And I just let you go because, um, as, as I said, like the time is benefit of doubt. So I just give you a chance, okay? At that point. Because it's a 50 50 situation. You could stop, uh, not 50, actually 60 40. So you could stop 60 and you could go 40. So 60 40. But I give you, um, I just leave you for that for benefit down. Benefit, benefit of down. You understand? Okay. Um, left turn. So, so at the at the very beginning of the test, when you pull out from here and then mm -hmm. um, turn left and one of the intersection, mm -hmm. that time I told you to move more on the left. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if you leave one car with a gap on the left hand side in preparation for the left turn, it will be a fail for the at the test. So make sure you more stop closer, yeah. close to the um, curb. So it doesn't quite one car gap width, but it's still uh, you it's the position zero because it was far. Okay, if it's more than one car gap, it's the position zero and it's a fail. Okay, so that's uh, basically about it for today's mistake side. And as I said, like good side is you have done good head checks most of the times in most of the situations and um, responded to the hazard properly. And um, yeah, speed also almost also very good. Yeah, and in some stages, you drove a little bit slower, um, like the road is 50 and there is uh, there is no potential hazard or anything. So at 50, you could go 40, 45. Mm -hmm. If the situation allows you, mm -hmm. but I it felt I you couldn't see the speed from here, but I feel like you've been driving 25 or 30, which is a bit low. Okay. So you may, you may just lose one point there for the speed, but it's not a big deal. Okay, just letting you know. Um, that's that's all about it. What you're driving today, otherwise, it's a good driving. <laughs> so, your test is just tomorrow, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, let me just suggest you like you're doing most of the things all right. So as I told you last mock test, like um, don't think about the test during your test. Yeah. Okay. Can I do? Can I have uh, one favor? Can I do do reverse parking? One more time. Yeah. We'll do something. No problem. Yeah. We can, when you go. Yeah. When we'll we. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do it again. Um. So yeah. Just for to, uh, for tomorrow. Don't think that you're going for a test. Yeah. Just thinking just for think. just thinking about the test makes nervous. 
Next year, I hope you can sit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, true, true. Some of the time, I also feel like if I would mm. do the test, I could do the test no, on no. behalf of the learners. Because yeah. The driving test is different than the, you know, no, in, you, in your driving. Of because course. actually, there's worse. I can see that there's worse driver, like how the way they did it. Like, oh, yeah, true, true. It's like, it's worse th true. than me. Yeah, so when somebody gets the license, they don't they not care that much like us before the test no. so that's why the diving test is very strict so yeah. to make sure that you know everything and you can yeah. perform everything you can mm -hmm. show full control and demonstration of your mm. driving skills like yesterday, especially mm. safe driving yeah especially. like yesterday different scenario so i made a lot of mistakes but now it's like i'm more on like i need to do i need to learn my mistakes yesterday so it's like different the road is different, you know, mm -hmm. different situations. The good thing today is uh, those drivers give me give way to me. So hopefully yeah, by this, tomorrow. In the narrow roads, yeah, yeah, yeah narrow hopefully roads. by tomorrow. Well, if they don't give you give you way, you can give them way. So just yeah, yeah. stop somewhere mm -hmm. in a spot where you have room to yeah. stop and let them go past. And when you go past, you can do your indicator ahead yeah. check if you want to to continue ahead. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So as I said, like uh, for the test, don't think about the test. Mm -hmm. Okay, first thing is just think that you don't, you know, you didn't, you haven't come for the test. You have come for a safe ride, and you're just taking your passenger from point A to point B, and the passenger is is old person. And I think about it, it's like, but it's still like. <sighs> It is, I know, it is. Because right. in the Philippines, different. It is, it is, different. I understand. So on the Philippines, you drive on this side? Left side. Yeah, yeah. I'm more uncomfortable with the left side. Oh, really? And yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm more on because when I went to US 2015, mm -hmm. it's easy because it's left side. Left side, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's easy for me. Right side, I need to, oh, okay, yeah. I need to process first that I'm on the right. Come <laughs> on, you're on the right. Yeah, this is this little bit of dilemma. I understand, mm. uh, but that thing will go away with the practice. Yeah. I, I think we, we have practice. So um, if you have time to practice more before the test tomorrow, yeah. just keep practicing. Yeah, and um, um, should be alright. Because uh, as you say, like uh, you driving on the other side of the road here mm. and the other side of the uh, mm. car, uh, it makes a little bit of difference. But uh, I, from my experience, I have seen people also coming from different countries mm. who uh, who drive mm. on the left hand side. But after after a short while, they get used to it. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it shouldn't be a permanent issue for you. They're driving here for six months, but it's not daily. Mm -hmm. It's like because I need someone to sit beside me. Yeah, yeah. You know. I understand. So if no one sit beside me, I can't drive. Mm. And true, you need to practice more and to know the situation. Definitely, if you jump, the more you practice, the better it becomes, yeah. and the fear goes away. Confident, yeah, I'm exactly. more confident. Like, mm. like the last time I didn't hard driving for like one month. Mm. So, yeah. yeah. I wish that you can you becomes um, better tomorrow. Hopefully, even, oh my god, and do it the best. Yeah. Give your best shot tomorrow. Yeah. I think you'll be fine. God help you're me. you're nearly there. You're nearly there. Yeah, you, can you can make it. You can make it. Alright? Yeah, I'll think I'll think about what you said. Yes. Which is yes. correct. Yep, it is. It is. <laughs> Alright, all the best for Let's, tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you. Aylin was supposed to do her road test on the next day, but unfortunately, she became sick and couldn't do the test. She presented a medical certificate to the service NSW center and got her test rescheduled for a later date. Well, it's good for her, and she can practice a bit more and get more confident. We wish her all the best for her driving test. We hope this video mock test will help her to focus on the points she needs to work on and to all our viewers. For me driving like this. <laughs> I can see the. See what? I can see the the road properly. <laughs> the road or the sky? Uh, the road. <laughs> to see the road, you don't have to really go that uh, that close to the stadium. I know, but I don't know. It's just like. Uh, it's just a feeling. Nothing yeah, else. it's just a feeling like I'm comfortable with this. Let's, uh, Yesterday, I'm not comfy. I'm very like. Oh my god.
If you'd like to create a mock test video tutorial for yourself in your own area, you can reach out to us via Facebook Messenger or Facebook page. If you'd like to book your driving lesson or mock test with Sharif, you can reach him directly by texting on 0413203523. More information can be found in the description box below. If you enjoyed the tutorial, subscribe to our RDT121 channel to get more amazing videos in the future. Please let us know what you would like to see more of. We wish you all the best and encourage you to stay safe on the road. And we'll catch up with you in our next video.